Thomas Henry Jem, or Harry as he was more generally known, was a man of many parts. He was a lawyer, the clerk to the Birmingham magistrates and an officer in the Birmingham Volunteer Rifles. He was an all-round sportsman, rackets player, runner, swimmer, cricketer and founder of at least one cricket club. But it was his involvement in racket sports, particularly his role as a lawn tennis pioneer, which is of prime interest to us. He and his Spanish merchant friend, Orgorio Pereira, met, we think, at Birmingham's Bath Street Rackets Club, where Jem was honorary secretary and Pereira a rackets player of some note. Eventually, the two men set out to devise an outdoor racket game, one which would not require the expense and upkeep of a building for an indoor game like rackets. Their first attempts can be dated back to as early as 1859 in the garden of Pereira's home in Ampton Road, Edgbaston. By the early 1870s, both men had moved to Leamington Spa. It was there that they set up the world's first lawn tennis club in 1874. Their club used courts laid down in the grounds of the Manor House Hotel. Founding members, along with Jem and Pereira, were two Leamington doctors, Frederick Haynes and Arthur Tompkins. At first they called their game Pelota, after a Spanish game still played today, but soon altered it to lawn tennis. This was the same year which saw the launch of Major Wingfield's Sferistiki lawn tennis sets, sold through French & Co of London. Wingfield's version would be adopted first by the MCC in London and then the All England Club in Wimbledon, evolving into the game we know today. Harry Jem died, aged 62, in November 1881 and his funeral was conducted with full military honours. His coffin was taken on a gun carriage from Birmingham's Livery Street Station to its final resting place in Warstone Lane Cemetery, at the heart of Birmingham's jewellery quarter. Harry's grave lay undiscovered for 120 years or so. In 2010, Michael Reddy, a local tour guide, was the first to mark the grave, appropriately enough, with a tennis ball. For a number of years, the Harry Gem project had been considering the possibility of restoring Harry's grave and began the process to acquire permission. When this was granted, trustees Robert Holland and Chris and Sue Elks explored the grave site, finding only broken pieces of the original grave architecture. On scraping away the earth from the neighbouring plot, the original ledger stone to Harry's grave was revealed – and now, a campaign is underway to raise the funds to restore the grave architecture. Harry's wife died in 1899 and is buried in the same grave. Her details will be engraved on the ledger stone. And finally, in recognition of their roles as lawn tennis pioneers, there will be this inscription etched on the side walls. Thomas Henry, Harry, Jem and his friend J.B.A. Pereira were lawn tennis pioneers. Their earliest experiments took place in the garden of Pereira's home in Edgbaston, Birmingham, around 1859. Please help us to restore this very significant piece of Birmingham and lawn tennis heritage.